Good evening. Today is still Tuesday, January 30th, 2024. I am back with another email topic. And uh, I'm going to rub some people the wrong way, but the people I'm trying to help, that's all I care about at this time, at this moment right here, which is young men. Listen to this, young man. I got a message for y'all at the end of after I read the topic. I read the email. All right, this is a 28 year old man, right? He was married for seven years, separated for one year. His wife just up and left him and took the two sons. She won't let him see the kids. I want him to have him call her. Why ain't had the kids call him? Both are under six years old two young boys for whatever reason the mom or whatever she wasn't happy or whatever you know the marriage didn't work out whatever she wasn't happy whatever happened she just took the boy and left she said he got had him up in a, they, they were living in a nice big beautiful home pool in the backyard well taken care of she had whatever she wanted whatever I don't know her side of the story or why she left whatever I'm just going off what he's saying but for whatever the reason they didn't work out. She up and left him. Okay. She wasn't happy the relationship didn't work. I don't really care why she left him unless he was like abusive and, and dangerous or whatever. A threat to the kid. Other than that, let the man see his kids, even if y'all don't work out. That that's what's best for the kids. But let, let me let me go on. He said he still provides for him, but there's no communication with the mother. She's rude when we talk and you know she talk real crazy, either mad or, or scorned or whatever, who knows, like I said, I don't know her side of the story. She might just be a rude person, I don't know. But she only messages when she needs something. I keep all the messages for the lawyer, for when I, you know, when he gonna, he gonna, that what I was gonna suggest, take it to the people downtown, so he, he getting the lawyers together and all that, keeping all proof and information. I'm doing what I need to do for myself, spiritually and mentally. My problem is not her seeing other men, because I know she's going to do that. I just don't want other men, uh, there's a problem of, of having other men around my kids. And the thought of them calling some other man daddy. Even though they know who I am, she says they don't because they're so young or whatever. So basically, she's trying to hurt them by telling them that. I'm divorced, right? Recently divorced, same situation. She didn't up and take the child, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I just left the house. I let them have the house. I did. How she gonna get the house anyway? But anyway, I ain't want none of that shit. It was so messed up at the end, I didn't want nothing. You can have it. I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna take care of my son. So I held on longer than what I should have held on trying to make it work, right? Trying to work it out. She didn't want it. She made it clear she didn't want it. I didn't even give a damn. We had got to the point to where we weren't talking no more in the same house. It was fucked up. I didn't even care about the marriage no more. I didn't care if she stayed out all night long, didn't come home, whatever. I just wanted to be there with my son because I was trying to prevent other men from being able to be around my son. So that's what I was trying to do. That's why I held on so long. That took a lot of shit, a lot of belittling, a lot of disrespect, just for the sake of not leaving my son to other men being around him. Because I thought that was going to be the end of the world. That was going to be the worst thing ever. And my son was young when I left. And I just, I, I had, it was just an imaginary nightmare of how it was going to be not being in the house with my son and her with other dudes around my son. You know, I just already pictured what it was gonna be like before it even was like that. But that, I just knew that how it was gonna be, and I didn't, I, I didn't want that. That's what you don't want. That's the main thing you worried about, is other men around your kids. That, and that's what a lot of us worried about when we leave our kids behind with the mother. But I wanna encourage you and let you know it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Now, I ain't, no, I ain't have to do all of what you have to do to see my kid, cause she didn't keep my son from me. She didn't do that. So I'm grateful to her for that. I didn't go through this part that you're going through with not being able to talk to my son. I was still able to come get him. Me and her were just done. 
but she didn't interfere with me and my son's relationship. So I was blessed on that aspect. So that, I don't hate her and have no ill feeling toward her because how we didn't work out. Because of what you're going through, I didn't have to go through. But if I did have to go through that, what you're going to do is you're going to be patient. You ain't going to do nothing stupid. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You worry about shit that's irrelevant. Your son calls my little daddy. Long as you do what you need to do, you're going to be there where they going to know you their daddy. I don't care who she dating. You're going to be there whether she let you be there or not because you put the white folks in it. Her ass going to jail and she don't abide by that court order. She gonna go to jail. You don't need her permission to see your kid once you put them white folks in it. If you doing everything you say you, you doing. So, you just gonna lay low, get your ducks in a row, get your money right, well you say your money already right, get your lawyer together, go down there and file your petition or whatever for divorce. If she ain't already filed, you gonna file. Go on file for the boys, get that shit over with, and file for joint custody. That's it. Don't try to be rude to her, you know, all that full custody. Be fair with it. You want joint custody where she can't do nothing without talking to you about it. Moving and all that type of shit. File for joint custody and your visitation rights. You're not giving up your parental rights, none of that. You file for divorce and you want joint custody. And y'all work out what y'all gonna do with the property in that divorce proceeding. Don't even worry about the material shit. I left all that shit behind, didn't give a damn. So you make good money, if you have to leave some shit behind the house, whatever, fuck that. Just make sure you have a relationship with your kids. Go get your lawyer. File for divorce. Joint custody. And fight from that point on. That's what you want and you ain't bending. No, you ain't bending. Joint custody. If she ain't file, you file. Don't don't act for it back. Don't try to work it out. Uh, I'm sorry, unless you fucked up. But even if you did fuck up, don't go back begging and let her calm down. Even if you messed it up, don't go try to ask her to come on back, baby, give me another chance. I'm sorry, I'll do right. Don't do none of that. If you messed up, apologize and then keep it moving. Let her decide on her own if she want to come back to you, if she want to forgive you, because a lot of times a woman to calm down, instead of you ain't begging and running behind, because if you run behind and beg, you're going to make it worse. You're going to make her hate her. I'm not hate her. You're going to make her hate you if you go to begging. She's going to lose all respect for you. So even if you was wrong, you know what happened. You know you know the whole story. You know, so, But just say you were wrong, that's why she left. Something she ain't happy about that she said you did wrong and she left. You just lay low. Don't worry, don't don't harass her. None of that. You know what I'm saying? You just you handle it through the court. Since she don't want to cooperate, you take it to the court. And don't have don't have no more dealing with her. Deal with your lawyer and get your lawyer to contact her. That's how you gonna do that. You, you, she, she ain't gotta call you. She ain't gotta do none of that. You got to uh be patient for a little while with the kids not being able to call you and whatever. It ain't gonna always be like that. As long as you don't fuck shit up. It ain't gonna always be like that. So you just deal with that for now, that's temporary. Not being able to see your kid. A lot of men go through that early on in the beginning. That was the court for, when you're dealing with a bitter uh, ex. She ain't gonna always be bitter. So just weather this storm right here. It ain't gonna always be like this. Don't worry about no other man around your kid. Your kid gonna know who you are, I promise you. If you, if you plan on doing what you need to do, they gonna know who you are no matter who she dating. You're going to make sure of that. But right now, you're going to handle it the legal, correct way. So, hold on, y'all. So, that's how you're going to handle that. Be patient. Don't let it drive you crazy. Don't worry about no men around your kids. Millions of men that have to deal, deal, deal with that. You're going to be all right. I promise you. You'll get used to it. Cause eventually you're gonna start dating and you might be around somebody else man, some other man kid. Unless you want them do you ain't gonna date no single mother. But other than that, if you're gonna date a woman with kids, you're gonna be around some other man's kids. We all deal with that. So don't even worry about it. Even if you don't get in a relationship with a single mother, if you're sleeping with one, you still gonna be around another man's kid. So get that out your head about another man around your kid. That just 
that that ain't it don't it ain't it don't be like you what what you think. It ain't as bad as you think. Especially if you are uh, active father in your kid's life, you ain't gotta worry about that. My ex-wife and you know she done had a couple of relationships and we've been apart, went our separate ways. And my son know good and well who I am. I ain't what he if, if she got a boyfriend, she called him Mister Such and Such. That's it. But other than that, ain't no ain't no calling them daddy because I ain't finna have that because I'm there. As long as you gonna be there, they'll know who you are. You can't see them right now. You will be able to do it if you handle your business. Now that's your solution right there, plain and simple. Don't make it nothing extra. Don't complicate it. Be patient. You can't see your kid right now. Okay. I know that's painful or whatever. It ain't going to always be like that. Because you're going to do what you need to do. Them, them white folk going to help you out when you're doing the right thing. They're going to be in your corner when you're trying to do what you're supposed to do. That's it for that. That's it. No 10-point plan. Get your lawyers. File for the board. File for joint custody. Let the court process play out. That's it. You can't see your kid right now, she tripping, but eventually you will. Just hold on. You got a lifetime to do this. This is, this is a marathon, not a sprint. If you don't be able to see them a few months, you still be able to see them for the rest of their life. You're going to fight for the rest of their life, not these few months you're going through right now. You're going through a few months battle to win the lifetime war. So this is just temporary. Just hold on for these few months, however long it takes to get everything ironed out of court. You ain't the only one that dealt with this, and you won't be the last. Now, I messaged to the young man after him with this man going through. I've said this a million times. People think I'm crazy, especially the women. They don't not, they do not like to hear me say this. To you young men, if you're not married and don't have kids already, this is not the day and age to get married and have kids. I would recommend any young man in the sound of my voice right now, if you ain't already married or with kids, don't do it. This is not the time and place. This world we're living in, it ain't the time and place to have kids or get married. Because what's going to happen is, is nine times out of ten, I guarantee she's going to leave your ass and take them kids. You ain't going to be in the house with your kids. Somewhere down the line, she ain't going to be happy because her mind is poisoned by the society we're living in. Her mind is full of poison. She ain't thinking with logic and, and rationale. Her mind is poisoned by social media, TV, dumbass girlfriends, Mama, you know, it was some bullshit. No guidance, no big mama no more. This ain't the time if you're young. Now, if you're older dude, you're already married, it's too late for you. Don't talk to young dudes that ain't married, that's just starting out on your journey. Don't get married. Don't have kids. This, this ain't going to sit well with a lot of people. I'm talking to the young men. I ain't giving a damn about who else don't like it. Don't get married, player. Don't have no kids, not in 2024. Unless you already, if you already got it too late, and you finna find out what I'm talking about. If you didn't already got married in 2024, and you young, you finna find out what I'm talking about. She gonna leave your ass somewhere down the road when she ain't happy. When y'all, when y'all life ain't measuring up to what she looking at on Facebook, what she looking at on Instagram. This is not the old days. I ain't talking about back then. It was all right to get married. And that's what we, we thrive for, marriage and the family and all that. This is not that day. These are not those times. There's some weird shit going on in this world right now. I wouldn't recommend nobody get married or have kids right now. Till we figure out what the fuck going on, what's in the air, what's wrong with people. That's what I want to tell you, young men, in this video. Like I said, I'm going to do. Don't get married. Don't have no kids. There's gonna be people telling you the opposite of that. If you get married, watch what I tell you. Somewhere down the line, she gonna want a divorce. She gonna wanna leave, she ain't gonna be happy. I guarantee it. If y'all got kids, she gonna take them damn kids, the court's gonna give her the kids at first, and then you got to go fight for your kids. To be able to see your kids, if she don't want to see them. You gotta go to court and fight to see your child. Now, if you okay with dealing with that, go on and get married and have kids while these modern day women. And you're gonna be emailing me real soon if the Lord let us let us see it and the creek gonna rise. You're gonna be emailing me real soon talking about Big Ward. She took my kids and left me. Get it? Got it? Good. Bye.